Hey guys, what's up? I got a fairly short review for you today. Um, there's really not a whole lot to say about this fragrance. Um, it's from the house of Sirius. It's Sirius number four. Launched out in 2007. Uh, there's your bottle. Only one bottle size that this comes in. It's a 2.5 ounce. Um, you can buy it at Barney's, uh, Lucky Scent, or Sirius Fragrances online. All of those are going to run you right at $125 for this bottle. It is a niche house. Um, notes on this one. Top notes, I had to go to the Sirius website for this, and they really don't have a list of notes. Uh, tops is a rush of citrus. Uh, middle says zest of crisp green apple. And uh, the base is papyrus, and that's pretty much it. Three notes, and it's a wrap. So, what do I get out of this? Is it worth $125? Let's talk about it. All right, the initial blast. For me, um, as soon as that initial blast comes out, it is a blast of citrus like it says. No way around it, just almost a harsh blast of citrus. Um, now, that fades out real quick. I'm going to say five minutes, tops. And those top notes have faded to the middle. Um, in the middle, you get a, a very crisp uh, green apple, just like it says. Now, believe it or not, I actually wrote my notes before I went back and looked up the notes on this fragrance. Uh, but you do, you get a very crisp green apple. It reminds me of one like just coming out of the refrigerator. You know, you reach in, you pull it out, it's cold, uh, still got like the dew on it, and you just take a bite of it. Very, very natural smelling crisp green apple. Now, after hour two that you've had this on, it's already in the base. Um, the base, I'm not sure where it's coming from, but on my skin, I get like a, almost a real crisp, clean vetiver. Um, almost like a damp, wet uh, vetiver, I don't, it's really hard to explain, but it's a really crisp, clean smell. Um, for me, this fragrance almost smells like a, uh, what do they call those things? Um, the Sour Apple Jolly Ranchers, you know what I'm talking about? All right, it really smells like those throughout most of the fragrance until you get down to the base. Now, let me get into my grading, and you're probably going to be like, what the hell are you talking about? Well, granted, you know, a, a Sour Apple Jolly Rancher sounds good. It smells great. It's one of everybody's favorites, just about, you know. Everybody wants that Sour Apple or that Blue Jolly Rancher. So, anyway, longevity on this, guys, I get five hours tops, okay? That's it. And, and with only the first three being worth anything. After three hours, you've got to dig your nose so far down into your arm just to try and smell it that it's really not even worth it. Um, projection on this, oh, well, first of all, I gave it a C on longevity because of that. All right, uh, projection on this, very close to the scan after the one hour mark, I gave it a D. Um, you know, only an hour of good projection, that sucks. And this shit's 125 bucks. Uh, no, just not cutting it. Um, Siage, after the first. 30 minutes to an hour, you're leaving no trail. You might as well not even have anything on if you're just walking by somebody. Again, another D. Um, so overall value on this one here. On series number four, haven't experienced the rest of their line yet, uh, but I do plan on it, you know, slowly. Um, so overall value on number four, though, uh, I gave it a D minus. Uh, to be honest with you, it's not worth buying a sample off of uh, Lucky Center anywhere. I wouldn't even spend the money on a sample. You're going to waste it. Um, at $125, definitely not bottle worthy. The fragrance does not smell bad. The fragrance actually smells very nice. But when you compare it to that $125 niche price point, no way. There are too many designers out there who have done something similar to this, and even some have done it better. And, you know, at 50 bucks you can spend and get a 3.4 where this one you're going to spend a 125 and get a 2.5 ounce, uh, it's kind of redundant. I mean, it's it's not really worth it. You're just wasting your money. You're buying this bottle here. This serious bottle is is what you're going to spend the extra money on. Your nice wood cap. If you want to have this wooden cap here, you can have it. There you go. Now go buy yourself a designer bottle that works just as good and save yourself the money. All right, guys. Well. That's my review on series number four. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.